today I'm going to show you a really cool and unique way of sharing your photos with your friends and family. What's up nerds? Today is Monday and that means poll day. Ready, set, go. Are you a Mac or a PC user? Card is right here. Now, today I want to show you a super cool thing that you probably didn't know uh, Lightroom could do. This is only going to work if you're a Lightroom uh, Creative Cloud user, but if you have uh, the Creative Cloud, this is awesome. And really, it's a way for you to share photos uh, kind of similar to as if you had a website, sort of, um, because it gives you an online gallery or a way to share an online gallery with someone. So I want to just jump into Lightroom and show you exactly what it is I'm talking about because uh, a lot of you might find this really helpful and it's super fun if you know how to do it. So the very first thing we need to do before we do anything, we have to make sure that we are using the Lightroom mobile. So the way that we're going to do that is you're going to head on up to where your identity plate here is up in the left. And you're going to right click near it and you're going to turn on sync with Lightroom mobile. Most of you by default will probably have this turned off. So you're going to want to select it or click it so that it's activated. Another way you could do this is click on the identity plate in the left hand corner and you'll see sync with Lightroom mobile sign in. So if I click sign in, this will also open up my Lightroom mobile stuff and I can type in my credentials. Okay. So now that we have chosen to turn our syncing on and sign into Lightroom mobile, this stuff is ready to use. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to head underneath where our collections are and we're going to make a new collection by hitting on the plus button and create a collection. It's important to note that this will not work with smart collections or collection set. It will only work if you create a collection, just a plain old collection. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just call mine share for right now. It really doesn't matter what I call it and I'm going to hit create. Now, the next thing is we want to select whatever photos it is that you want to share with your friends and family online. You're going to just pick those pictures and you're going to drag them into your collection. So I'm going to just select this row here and I'm going to go ahead and drag those into the share option. And so now you'll notice that in my share collection, I've added six photos. If I go ahead and select that, you'll see here are the six photos that I've put into this collection. Now, the next thing we want to do is to the left of the word share or this little collection, you should see a box, just a plain old box. But if you click on that box, you're actually going to start syncing this collection with your Lightroom mobile stuff. You will know that it's syncing because a little pop up will uh, appear as well. You're going to see this like a double arrow thing going on to the left of your collection, just like I have here. What that means is this is now being shared. So what we need to do now is right click on the shared collection and we're going to get some options here. You're going to see that there is an option called Lightroom mobile links. If you make the collection public, this will only work if you click make the collection public. This will start the process and then we're going to right click on the shared collection again going back to Lightroom mobile links. And this time when we go under Lightroom mobile links, we're going to see that we have now activated an option that says copy public link. This is actually the link, the web link that you would share with your friends and family or whoever you want to see these pictures. Now think about this. If you're a new photographer who's doing things for friends, or maybe you have clients that are paying you to take pictures of their friends and family, whether you're paid or not, this is a great way to share all the photos that you captured, kind of like a proofing gallery, so to speak. You could send this link to them. They can open it and see all the pictures that you've taken, and then they can make decisions. I'll show you what that means in just a second. So I'm going to copy this public link. And then let's go to a browser. I'm going to paste that link into the browser. I'm also going to paste this link in the comments down below. So if you guys want to check out these photos, leave comments just so you can kind of see how this works. Go ahead and knock yourself out. 
So this is the link you would share. And what's going to happen when you open the link is this box or these photos that you've shared with people are going to appear. And what's great is if they were to sign in, what this is going to do is it's going to allow them to select a photo. They can just click on the photo. And then over on the right hand side, there's a little bit, there's a comment box. So they can click on this comment box and they can leave a comment. So now that comment has been posted. You can also hit the heart button if you want to like. This is basically just like a thumbs up button. And so now your client or your friend or your mom has seen the photos you wanted to share, left a comment, liked it. And then what happens now, if we go back to Lightroom, when we get back over to Lightroom, you're going to notice that there's a new icon in the bottom right hand corner of this photo. It's a little yellow speech bubble. This tells me that someone has left a comment on my photo. So when I select this photo and I head on over to the right hand panel here underneath metadata, keywords, all of that stuff, you're going to see there's a comments box. And if I open that up, I can see that I've liked the photo and I can also see the comment that I left. This photo is awesome. And so if your friends or family or clients are leaving comments or liking stuff, you'll actually see this right here in your Lightroom catalog. When the bubble has not been red, it's yellow. And when it has been red, it changes from yellow down to gray to let you know that there is a comment, but you've already read it. You can't reply, so that's probably the one downside. You can't reply to their comment or you can't thumbs up their comment, but you can see all the comments that they've left to you. And I think that that's a really cool way of communicating with the people you wanna share this photo with. But this again is only gonna work if you are on Adobe Creative Cloud, but I think it's really awesome and it's a tool that's probably not being used by most of you out there. So hopefully you find this uh, useful and fun create some collections, share them with friends and family. I think they'll get a kick out of it. So other than that, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Photo Nerds Unite. And don't forget to hashtag your pictures with PNFL because we have been doing a photo of the week. We've already done two and we will be doing another photo of the week this Wednesday. But in order to participate, you've got to follow us on Instagram and you got to use the hashtag. So we see what you guys are up to out there. That's all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.